What's up, everybody? It's the homie Truth Teller, the street reporter, and today's hood topic is going to be rapper from the south side of Chicago, Lil Reese from GBE 300. You know, I think this guy is one of the face of drill rap. You feel me? Him, Chief Keef, and Lil Dirk, they kind of popped off together, if you ask me, along with, like, Bibby and Lil Herb and shit like that. But I think these guys right here were clearly the face of this drill when it first popped off. But I think a few things happened that kind of messed Lil Reese up you know i don't want to say he fell off but i'm gonna say a few things kind of put him in decline when that jojo tape hit you know everybody seen that infamous tape when he say hey i'm gonna kill you you know what i'm saying but just seeing that tape kind of smeared his name a little bit as far as like with the fans and shit like that you know and then with uh that tape right after a couple months man after that shit hit the tape of him fighting that girl you know that kind of hit and smeared him up a little bit he caught a, a couple cases I think he caught a gun case, you know, so his man always been on some other shit instead of this rap shit. You get what I'm saying? When you look at Lil Reese's social media, the guy, he tweets out like maybe once or twice a month. You feel me? He on Instagram maybe once or twice a month. And I know a lot of y'all saying, hey, look, y'all some internet ass niggas. Dude got a real life. But that's not really the case when you're a rapper. You know, those social media sites and those platforms are big for you to promote your brand i don't see him doing that a lot i think uh, uh you know uh with him being arrested and shit like that you know academics calling them the grand reaper and shit like that you know that kind of put a smell on his name but don't get me wrong i do think this guy gonna come back because he got a name he could tour the world make money you know doing shows and drop mixtapes and get this shit floating again because a lot of people know Lil reese that name whole weight you know so i do think he got enough time to fix what he's doing but as of right now man i think he's taking a lot of wrong steps man you feel me i think a lot of these guys put their career in chief keith hands too you know and chief keith was a real young guy he popped you know uh he was a sensation but he was a bad uh, a and i a record business dude you know what i'm saying because a lot of his artists and a lot of people he rock with didn't really pop big like that you get what i'm saying it's a lot of people that claim the glow gang imprint they didn't really blow like that kind of remind me of 50 cent the way he did young buck and lloyd banks and shit like that you know what i'm saying he was a good rapper he made a lot of money but his proteges really didn't blow like i think they should have blew you know but i just think you know what i'm saying Lil reese gonna focus a little bit more on this music man 2017 i can see this guy starting a new wave you know so that's the question i want to ask you guys you feel me so listen to me i want to know do you guys think Lil reese fell off and do you think he got a chance to come back and blow this shit back up, man, and make some money and do something with his career? i love to know what y'all think, man. So leave me a comment. I'm going to be watching the comment box. And most definitely subscribe to my channel ASAP for more entertainment news. Blah, blah.